What up, though? Heist Man Defoe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Man, I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Everybody love ice cream, man. And this is this is a weird story, man. When I seen this story, I was like, come on, man, this can't be true. But Walmart, they came out with this stuff called Juneteenth ice cream. They want to celebrate Juneteenth. Walmart, they had to take it down though, man. When I first seen this, I'm like, come on, man. This can't be true, but it is. Great value making this ice cream, man. Our story. Share and celebrate African-American culture, emancipation, and enduring hope. Come on, man. Ain't nobody asked for this. First of all, hey, look, they even got decorations for this. I don't know who celebrate this. I mean, I've been black for 39 years and I ain't never celebrated Juneteenth. I believe in it. What's up? Big shout out to them and everybody who did everything they had to do for that. But we just ain't celebrating this. This is crazy. The craziest part about this story is that Great Value got this ice cream. And it's also ice cream that's got the same exact ingredients called Creamalicious right next to it. The crazy part about it, this Great Value ice cream and this Creamalicious. The difference is the Creamalicious is um black owned and operated. They buy a black company. So they didn't cut the man, they didn't cut the black man out with this um Juneteenth celebration ice cream. It's crazy. Because you know it's cheaper because it's great value. That's the store brand. That that is that is not a why do you put um you know telling everybody about this ice cream instead of coming out with this, man? It's just it's just wrong to me. I don't know, man. They also came out with some um LGBTQRS pride ice cream. That's what I'm saying. They capitalizing off somebody else, man. They plight or whatever you want to call it, man. So great value. Shame on you and Walmart for even putting that on the shelf. We definitely going to be talking about this Friday, though. Because I go live every Friday talking about stuff just like this. Y'all just got to come through and holler at me, man. Um, I wonder my wife would go purchase some of that Juneteenth ice cream. I got a white wife. How would she look? <laughs> hey, we going to ask her that. Yeah, we going to ask her Friday. We going to ask her. Would you go purchase some um Juneteenth ice cream? I mean, she'd be with my shenanigans and stuff because I wanted to um, make America great hat again. You know, this be playing. I don't, not, I don't support that. No, 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 not me. But I wanted one of them hats and she went and got it for me. So I wonder how she felt when she walked up to that counter with that make America great hat again hat on. I love my wife, man. That's funny. Anyway, we definitely going to be talking about this Friday right here on the channel because I go live every Friday talking about stuff just like this. You just got to come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation, and tell me how you feel about this. Juneteenth ice cream. And how I let your boy, Heist Man the Foe, talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Peace.